Hello guys, in this video we import a character from Blender to Mixamo, rig it and export it to Unreal Engine. Then we create a suitable animation blueprint. Step 1, file, export to FBX, select only the mesh and click export. Step 2, go to Mixamo, click to upload character. Select your exported character. Just a moment. Okay, you now you see the preview. Click to next, rig it. Okay, here the elbow, the knees, and the groin. Okay, I select no fingers. Click to next and now wait a moment. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, it's now complete. Okay, you can see animation is complete. Click to next, next. Okay, now first download in T pose. Okay. And now search for the animations. Uh, you need a walk, a run, and an idle animation. You can download it and now go to Unreal Engine, go to Characters, um, add a new folder, I name it Fighter, okay, uh, a new folder, name Mesh, okay, now import the export from Mixamo, click to import all, okay, Here's the skeleton mesh, phys physic asset, skeleton, perfect. Next, uh, add folder animation and import your animations. You have the run, the walk, and the idle. And it's important to select the fighter skeleton and click to import all. Okay, next we create an animation blueprint with a fighter. Uh, animation blueprint uh, fighter. Okay, okay, double click. Um, okay, go to event graph. Um, now we open the Manikrin blueprint. Okay, perfect. Yes, now we copy this. Copy paste. Go to a fighter, remove this and paste. Uh, we remove this and remove. Okay, no, this is okay. So no, now we add some variables um, the character and change to character here. It's okay, change the variable. Okay, now we um, movement component, movement component. Okay, here search for move character is okay. Character movement component change. Okay, now we add the ground speed. I think we need this. Change it to float and add 
velocity velocity and change to back to change okay it's okay um, now we test click to compile okay here is the problem remove the ground speed and use this set connect connect compile okay it works um, next step <coughs> go to animation graph and click right and we need the state machine where is it state machine uh, name it locomotion uh, search for new save cache post and locomotion cache and here use locomotion cache default slot and connect okay as uh, for later okay double click the locomotion at the state idle double click and now the, we use the idle animation connect um, loop the animation idle is loop go back okay next add state walk run um, is the ground speed greater than zero connect okay go back and here we go here if ground speed no, yep, yeah, is less or equal mm, zero okay compile go back go to walk run okay next we add um, go to animation no sorry go to fighter right click animation legacy blend space 1d select the skeleton uh, name it b as fighter walk run double click go to uh, where is it the horizontal axis and name it speed set the maximum to 500 um, we can check here in the blueprints on character movement the max walk speed is 500 okay okay go back say 500 and um, at the idle to zero at the walk to i think here is okay and the run to 500 um, if you hold the command command you can see it run okay save that's all go back to your animation blueprint and add the blend space connect at the ground speed connect you can select all press Q okay compile okay perfect that's all now we open the third person blueprint go to viewport select your mesh and change it to fighter select the AB fighter and now we scale it's a little bit so scale down wow. so yes this is okay yeah compile okay start you can see your mixer mode walk and run okay next step 
we can add the jump state or any other state. Okay, goodbye.